George could take the scotch. George could have left the bed. No, I want you to take it out there because we'll look about in a minute. Right. It's the referee that's given him a look in the game. Laid off here to Jack Steelers shooting, scoring! Jack Steelers makes it 1-0! He opens his account for the season in incredible fashion! How about that from Jack Steelers? What an absolute banger! A little roll forward there from, Mark, uh, from Isaac Gallifard. Uh, Sneelis has taken a touch and then he's just stuck his foot right through it. Uh, a diving down leave, just couldn't even get anywhere near it. Absolute banger. Um, we know we know it have got goals in them and there you go, Sneelis. Neelis running forward into the box, just on the edge of it now, turning, laying the ball off for Bell, delivers the cross towards Wilkinson, heads it and in! 2-0! Finley Wilkinson has surely won it against the 10 men of all church. Celebrations for the Canaries. They look to start the season with three points. They've had to really work for it today.
Finley Wilkinson, man of the match today. He got the second goal. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best one on the day, though. We've got to talk about Jack Strike. How yeah, good was that? Absolutely brilliant. He's, he's connected with it so well. We know he's capable of it, and he's just found the top corner. And, well, it's an unbelievable strike, really. And your header, look, you placed it perfectly. Great delivery from Brad as well. Is that link up again? Yeah, no, it was a great cross, and I just, I just had to meet it. The, the pace on, is already on the cross. You just got to meet the ball. Like, I was doing a good header because I was missing the ones earlier from Chaz's goal kick, so it was good to get on the end of it. Towards the end of the second half, you could have got yourself a brace. What was going through your mind when you put your foot through it? Which one was that? Just at the end where you sent it over the bar. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I just rushed. Um, I should have taken another touch, really, settled myself. But I think that will come when the when the game's coming thick and fast and you're getting your confidence up. Obviously, we're still not. We just finished pre-season, so we're not going to be as sharp as we'd like to be in a few games in. So hopefully, we'll be taking those chances uh, towards the middle of the season. Really difficult first half. Do you feel the red card really was the turning point in the game? And what did Mark say to you at half time? Yeah, it, it, the, the red card. It was a turning point because they were the better team in the first half. We're not going to deny that. They were they were quicker than us. They were winning first, second, third balls. But the red cards come, and you know we got the extra man across the pitch. And we got, like I said, move the ball. You know, use use the extra man, and I think we punished them and. We've done well in the second half, we've made up for the first half. It was quite a different opponent to pre-season, you know, because it, this is the sort of league game we've come to expect, a, a difficult Boy, sort of physical Jack. team. Have we come up against similar teams in pre-season? No, not, not exactly as a one outfit. I think you've maybe got the pace and the tempo of the Lewins and Stevenages that we've played, mm. and then maybe the physicality of the, of the stop holes that we've played. So we had that balance in pre-season, but we didn't quite get it in one game, which maybe we should look at. Um, in future seasons, obviously, um, you want to get that balance, and your pre season is, makes your seasons essentially. So, um, it would be good to have more games that we're coming across of teams like that we're going to face in the season. With Dan Idiokoa coming back and, and joining the ranks, that makes it quite congested in, for, for your place. How, how sure are you that you can yeah, your slot? No, I've just got to focus on myself, Pete. As long as I'm doing the best I can be. Um, I believe that you know I'll be playing, playing, starting in the team, and everyone else has got to have that same mentality. That they're good enough to be in the starting, starting eleven, and if they're not, they've got to you know do their best to get back in the team. Finally, two two years in a row, you scored on the opening day of the season. It must just feel good to start you with three points, even if it maybe wasn't as convincing as you might have hoped. Yeah, no, it's, it's that weight off your shoulder, isn't it? Mm. Getting, the, getting the first goal, and then hopefully we can just kick on from here as a team and, and personally myself get more goals as we go. Well played today, Finn. Thank you. <laughs> Mark, starting the season with three points, uh, the scoreline will look comfortable, the game certainly wasn't. I must admit, I didn't really enjoy the game at all. Um, just saying there, we, they've had one of them days where nothing went right for them. Mm. Um, they created a lot of chances, caused us all sorts of problems. Um, then they get the, the sending off, so really up against it. But they still give us a, a, a game. Mm. Um, in the second half, even though we got the initiative with the goal, great strike from Jackson Ellis got one up. Um, but you know, fair play then, they, they didn't give up. Um, I said uh, in pre season, it's not about the results, it's about the performances. Yeah. And you flip that in the league. So it's not about the performances, it's about the results. Uh, today, we've won. So I'm happy, got three points, clean sheet. Like you say, looks good on paper. But uh, we've got a lot of work to do. With, um, Still got, and I said, like I said to you, I, I didn't expect us to be 100% going into today. It takes two, three weeks as the season goes on to get up to speed. 
we we were a long way behind 100% today. So uh, the boys know it. You know they um, they look as though they had the, the weight of the world on their shoulders first half, and I don't know whether that was too much pressure because my bench was yeah. quality. You know, so whether that was paid a part, um, I don't know. I don't know. But we've got across the line. Nice to get a, a win and um, go on a long eat next week. Excellent goal from from Jack Sneelis. He's, uh, he's he's not scored many like that one. No, he was. Uh, <laughs> to, to be fair, we practiced that on Thursday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it's uh, here first. Yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. He certainly <laughs> weren't. No, no he's, he's oh, a great right. strike of the ball. We had, I was right behind it. It just flew into the net. Mm. As I say, I thought that would have calmed us down and settled us down. And for a little spell, we, we did take the initiative. But you know, like I say, credit them. They, they've come back. They've put us under pressure. I didn't feel comfortable at all. I thought we mm. were. Our usual organised. I'm, I'm, you know, I pride myself on being organised and hard to break down and defend properly. And we were a little bit all over the show, which uh, we've got away with this time round. Um, but lessons will be learned. Um, and as I say, happy to, to get off the mark with three points. The key moment, really, I think everyone will agree, was that red card sort of just before her half time. It, it did change the game. What was your view on, on both of the yellow cards? Because there were plenty being dished out today. Yeah, I mean, we've had a directive about. Um, yellow cards mm. so we were expecting a few to be dished out um, we were a little bit fortunate that uh, we didn't have any first half and, mm. and they picked up a, a few plus the red um, I, to be honest, uh, possibly a little bit harsh we'll have to look at the look at the replay but um, yeah he's made the decision they've got to deal with it um, and as I say credit to them they uh, put in a fine performance with, with 10 men Excellent to see Dan Idiaco back in a, in a Canary shirt. So that, that makes a, a very comfortable headache for you in the midfield. It's a real nice headache, you know, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, and it's a real headache. It yeah. is a real headache, you know. As I said, the quality of squad I've got, I'm really mm. excited about this season. That's why I'm a little bit disappointed because I know they're so much better than that. Yeah. I know we're yeah. so much better, but we have got the three points. So, you know, sometimes that's a sign of actually grind out a result, even though you don't play well. Mm. That's a good thing. So that's a positive to take from it. Yeah. Um, as I say, it's, it's, I'm really pleased where we are. Quality players here, they're a good bunch of lads. And uh, we'll prepare next two game, uh, two sessions, sorry, and um, go travel along Eaton next week. Just spoken to Finley Wilkinson and maybe talked about how, you know, pre-season has helped us going into this game. But one thing... In preseason, we don't come up against teams like Orv Church, we don't come up against league rivals, and maybe today we've almost seen just how different our preseason opponents were to the actual teams that we'll come up against yeah, in some yeah, aspects. I think you're right, I think there's an element of that. Um, he, he, he'd, he'd say the stop fold, that's, that was going to be, and we played really well against him, so um, there was a little bit of type of uh, teams that we're going to play in the league mm. uh, just a level below but you know they're a good team you know they're good young passed the ball really well but they were physically strong as well so <laughs> uh, uh, for me it's a good result um, to, to get across the line absolutely well done today cheers boys thanks, thanks Mark. Cheers. cheers